hello 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 welcome back and welcome if you're new yes kevin just walked in y'all so as promised um from the video that y'all are just seeing today but it was filmed yesterday so it was y'all are seeing it on the 17th and it was filmed on the 16th um i promised that i would make stuffed peppers so um my family, they love these peppers and I tell everybody all the time, it is very, very simple. All it is, is cream cheese, cheese, um, bacon, and then your jalapeno pepper. All you do is just sprinkle, sorry y'all, I'm still choking um, from cleaning those peppers. <coughs> so all you do is, is just take your uh, cream cheese and your shredded cheese mix it together stuff your pepper with it and wrap it in bacon very very simple i don't understand why they love it so much but anybody can do it so um kevin requested those he also requested mac and cheese which it is literally just going to be a uh, box mac and cheese because jen will not eat any other like homemade she will not eat it like i stated previously so it's going to be box mac and cheese and then um fried chicken so I seasoned my chicken off camera um, because I just, to me, I feel like that's just best. Um, you know, season, use whatever seasoning you like. One day I may show y'all how I actually fry chicken, but it's real simple. Use the seasoning that you want and use a good binder. Some people use mustard, but I absolutely cannot stand the smell and the look of mustard so I use an egg so you can either use an egg I've seen some people use um, cooking spray I've seen people use olive oil and mustard and hot sauce but again I just like to use an egg because I don't like the way the other things smell so um, and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna show you guys how to make these peppers really fast okay so what we have right here is some fresh jalapeno peppers i have taken the seeds and the holes out and that's exactly why i'm coughing um i do recommend please don't do this while you have elderly folks and children around because just the aroma from the seeds and stuff is strong and it literally it has you choking okay it, it'll have you <laughs> needing a pitcher of water so just make sure nobody is around and then the juice and stuff it'll pop i don't know how many times if I didn't have my glasses on, my eyes would probably be burning because it has popped multiple times into my eyes. So all I did was rinse them off. Um, I added some baking soda, some vinegar, and some lime juice. Um, some people just like to wash theirs in water, but I like to make sure my vegetables and fruits are thoroughly clean. So um, in this bowl right here, it's just some cream cheese mixed with shredded cheese. You can use any kind of shredded cheese you want. I think it's better to actually buy the block and shred it up. But I ain't got time for that today. So shredded cheese out the pack it is. It looks like carrots, but I promise you it's shredded cheese. And just give it a mix. Um, I recommend to leave your cream cheese out about an hour, an hour and a half before using it. That way it'll be soft enough for you to stir it around in a bowl. Then I just have a pack of bacon that I bought from Aldi's and I just split it in half um, it was 13 pieces so of course you split it in half that makes uh, 30 sorry 26 and so um, I don't have enough bacon because <laughs> I bought 30 I bought 15 peppers which makes it 30 because you got to split it in half so a few of those peppers will not be used but it's okay so, um, I'm going to just do one and then I'm going to do the rest off the camera. So, start off, I use my hand. You can use a spoon. That's the reason why I have on gloves, but to each his own. Um, just take a little bit and you're going to mold it inside of your pepper. Once it's in there, you're going to take one piece of bacon that you cut and you're just going to wrap it around there. You know, like this. Um, here I have a pan that I have slightly greased. Now, you don't have to grease your pan, but I mean, 
because you know bacon makes its own grease but I like to just make sure my stuff ain't sticking to the pan so um, I'm gonna do the rest of them off camera but very 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 simple okay Everybody told me you could be whatever you want to be So I told myself I'm going to be a singer, I'm going to play on the keys I can do whatever I want if I just believe Yeah, But then over the years, everybody's telling me to find a career huh. And I'll be rolling my eyes, thinking I'll be alright with my guitar by my side But now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill And a tether for my bus pass too I wish I could go back and tell myself that Life is gonna hit you hard They say money won't buy you happiness But being broke really ain't a good time So all I want is just to get paid I know I ain't ashamed of trying to make a wage, no Money, 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 money Makes the world go round I need money, 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 money Money got Okay, y'all, so um, the peppers are done. So I end up doing um, two pans. So we got this pan and then we got this one. Now, I know some people like to add parsley and like uh, Tony's to there, but I, I promise you this is good. You don't need to add no seasoning to this whatsoever because the bacon has salt and too much seasoning will definitely make it salty. So we're going to put these in the oven on 375 for about an hour, depending on how crispy you like your bacon. I may do an hour and 15 minutes because I like mine <laughs> super crisp. And I'm laughing because Kevin will be like, no, no, uh -uh, like you need to take these out. But um, yeah, it just depends on your preference. So 375 for an hour to an hour and 20 minutes. Hey guys, so real quick um you know i did say that i was gonna go to aldi's but i called them this morning and they were still out of stock with the meat so i just went to my local brookshire's and got some more meat but one thing i did find that i was not expecting so um kevin has family from texas so normally you know every once in a while we'll head over to texas and visit them and they have this meat market that is awesome and it's called uh what is it j and m's i call it a and d's y'all i don't know why but <laughs> yeah and so um they have these steaks that the sirloin steaks that we normally get from there and for two of them we maybe pay like 25 dollars for them and they're big and they're about this size so when i went in brookshire's today and I seen these steaks, y'all. I could have hit the floor and it was the last pack. I seen this woman eyeballing them and I looked at her and I just went right on in front of her and I got some steaks. <laughs> I did not want her to get them. I promise y'all I was nice though. But um, look at how big they are. Can y'all tell how big they are? Kevin, this will feed all of us. Kevin will still have some to take to work the next day whenever I pack his lunch. This is how big it is. So. Um, I am going it's two of them in here, but again, like we can eat off of them. If Kevin doesn't take one a piece to work, we can eat off of them for two days. So two of them came in a pack. I'm going to split them up and, uh, put them in some freezer bags. And they also had some chicken thighs. Um, they were $1.99 a pound. And so these were $5.35 and one, two, three, four, five seven eight nine nine of them they got nine squares in this little pack but um this will do us good as y'all know the prices are sky high especially for chicken wings i'm a chicken wing type person and like a boneless skinless style person in the breast i love the breast especially to make like chicken alfredo and stuff but the way the prices are yeah we're gonna be eating some big old drumsticks so i'm gonna section them off i'll probably put uh four in one bag and five in another bag and I don't know maybe we can bake them um, you can fry them we may put them on a grill one day I don't know but I'm gonna section these 
off. And then the pork chops, the family pack of pork chops. Uh, we love, love, love to grill these. Um, these were six oh five, and they were three fifty nine. Sorry, one seventy nine a pound. And so, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven of them in here. And again, we'll bake them. We'll fry them. Well, I'm not too keen on frying them. I mostly bake them and Kevin will put them on the grill. Or we'll saute them on the stove. So, I just wanted to show you all the meat that I picked up this morning. I think that's all. Yeah, and I picked up a pack of Andouille um, smoked sausages. The Party Time um Zumo's is the brand I want to say like the boudin brand so I will probably be putting them on the grill one day or just boiling them to make sandwiches like if it's hectic and it's busy and I don't have time to cook that's what we'll do we'll just pair it with some chips so I just want to show y'all the meat because <laughs> I did say we were going to go to Aldi's but again they didn't have anything I don't know what what's going on with them I don't know Okay y'all, so we are getting ready to fry the chicken. So what I have right here is a bag with all-purpose flour. Um, I would say use about two cups, depending on like, like if it's like a small family, um, like three to four of y'all, I would say two cups. And don't, the reason I say that is because don't be shy on the flour. Like you don't want no patchy chicken. So, Make sure y'all have enough flour to cover your chicken, especially when you drop it off in here. Also, um, I have some parsley that I sprinkled off in here. And I'm also going to sprinkle off a little bit of Tony's into my flour. Season your flour, y'all. I promise you. If you just... Now, if you feel like you didn't put too much uh, seasoning on your chicken, don't season your flour because you don't want no salty chicken but if you seasoned it just right go ahead on and add some seasoning into your flour so our chicken has been marinating for quite some time now a few of the peppers are done so i'm going to show y'all um some of the peppers so here i'm just going to give my chicken a shake and then we're going to take it I'm going to drop it off in our flour. And don't put too many pieces in there at once unless you want some patchy chicken. So I'm going to drop four off in here for now. And then I'm going to leave some air in my bag so I can thoroughly shake my chicken. If you haven't, go ahead and turn on your grease and let it preheat. Now, I know some people, they'll take like a baking rack or like a, a cooling rack and remove the chicken and let it sit there so like the flour can soak up, but if you have enough flour and you're you have a good binder on your chicken the flour is gonna do it's gonna be just fine you don't have to sit it on a rack and let it soak so I'm gonna just sit that there for now so I can show y'all all these peppers so right here um, this is about half of them the rest of them are still in the oven um, another thing about these peppers is that they're not gonna always all cook at the same time so just be careful and make sure y'all are watching them Okay, Kevin. Let's see. He always tests them to make sure they're... Good. It's good. Okay, so the way I test my grease, some people will drop water, but I just take a little bit of flour and drop it off in there. And when it gets to doing that, then it's ready. So I'm going to slowly start dropping my chicken off. I'm going to dust the excess powder off.
and you don't have to drop all of them in here y'all again like if the pot is big enough cool but if it ain't don't drop all that chicken off in there and have it tacky Okay y'all, so the peppers are done and this is what they look like um, and they are really, really good. So it's hot, I'm gonna cover it with foil and then um, when it's time, we're gonna serve and I'll show you guys the plate. So while our chicken is still frying though, I want to bake some of those cookies that I got from all these that I mentioned um, the other day. So I'm gonna lay down some parchment paper and then we're just gonna place these cookies on the sheet. Okay, so this is what they look like. Let me take a spoon and break them up. We're just gonna place them on there. And these came from all these. I had no idea that they had their own cookies. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. How much they cost? The cookies? Uh, I think they were like two something. Mm. Oh, you're frying real cheap. Can we use all for that? I have another pepper. That was kind of good. You hear, Mama? Them peppers was good. <laughs> Can we get one? Oh, yeah, never mind. Hey, y'all! I'm begging. <laughs> Come on, let me go. So it says you can bake them on 350 for uh, 12 to 14 minutes, but I like to go with like the middle number, which is 13. So we're going to put them in there for 13 minutes and see what happens. Everybody told me you could be whatever you want to be So I told myself I'ma be a singer, I'ma play on the keys I can do whatever I want if I just believe Yeah, But then over the years, everybody's telling me to find a career huh. And I'll be rolling my eyes, thinking I'll be alright with my guitar by my side But now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill And a tenner for my bus pass Okay everyone, so um it's time for bed <laughs> once more um the food came out amazing um everybody loved it like i had all family members coming to get a plate but i saw the time <laughs> um so i hope you guys try the recipe i hope you guys like it we did not get to finish painting the mailboxes because the extra paint that kevin bought it was like a messed up can or something like that like which i don't understand but the way he explained he said that the little nozzle that you use to hold um it kind of like it got messed up somehow so we are gonna have to get more paint before we can finish that so that is all uh my lovely so i hope you guys enjoyed y'all should be seeing this video on the 18th or maybe the 19th i haven't decided but i think i'm gonna leave it for the 19th being that I um, just posted a video so we're gonna keep it for the 19th and then go from there so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night bye